Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Star Bazaar and to a very exciting Battlefront 2 news update. We don't hear from him too often, it's usually Ben or Jay that we get the news from, but our hero designer Guillaume has gone on Twitter today and posted a series of tweets that tease a bunch of changes coming to the heroes starting in the next patch. Let's check it out. So his first tweet was all about Anakin, and even though Annie got some damage nerfs to his abilities in this latest hotfix, it sounds like Guillaume has a bit more planned for him, and these changes are coming in the next patch. Starting strong, Anakin's passionate strike will no longer knock enemies down. Guillaume says that he has enough enemy disruption abilities already, which I think is the best fix to Anakin that could be made, so I'm very happy about this. No more endless ability combos from Sky Guy, which should really balance out the hero and villain gameplay quite a bit. He's also getting a reduction to his pull dominance range, and Guillaume is also looking into the range of retribution. I'm a little iffy on the pull, because it is a pretty valuable tool in Galactic Assault, but it can be overpowered in the hero modes, so we'll see how big the nerf actually is. Retribution, I'm really not sure about either, to be honest. You let me know what you think about that in the comments. I'm pretty sick of Anakin spam myself, but I also don't want to see him nerfed into the ground either. But moving on to two other Clone Wars heroes, Yoda and Chewbacca are getting changes too. Yoda's presence ability will get a nerf to reinforcements and infantry, but not to himself it looks like, which is good. This is to make him a little less overpowered in Galactic Assault, because his extra health buff is really strong when he uses it on his team. It makes getting past certain map phases very difficult. On the flip side, Chewbacca is aiming to be more viable in Galactic Assault by buffing the charge slam against infantry, but Guillaume said that if that doesn't work, he'll have a look at Chewie's health too. Personally, I think Chewie could use 50 to 100 more base health and have at least 250 health regeneration. His major issue in GA right now is that once he takes a few shots, he's taking permanent damage because his regeneration is terrible, sitting at 150. And since his health recovery is based on an ability that requires you to get close to danger, it makes healing really hard with Chewie. Buffing Ground Slam could be a good first step though. Maybe a wider radius and more base damage could be just what he needs. Next, Guillaume says even more changes are coming, like Yoda's and Vader's jump heights, and apparently a fix to a problem where Vader and Maul would not get pushed when they were using their chokes, as well as Grievous when he used Unrelenting Advance. Nothing on Thrust Surge still, unfortunately, but Guillaume did also say that they're also looking to make Boba's jetpack gameplay a little more interesting, whatever that means, though that will be for a later update. Possibly the most interesting tweet was this one though, about passive health regeneration for all heroes. He says, For the health on kill star cards, I'm looking at making it a passive ability for all heroes. That being said, it might take a bit of time to redesign the cards, implement and get approval for the change. That is pretty cool to hear though. Passive health recovery has been something that the community has brought up a lot lately, since a lot of us feel that using up a star card slot for health recovery limits other possible card combinations we could otherwise be trying, since it's almost a given that your hero will have their health on kill card attached. This can open more doors and let us try new card combinations that we couldn't before, so I think it's a great idea. Guillaume said that he would have to redesign the current health on kill cards for each hero, but he assures us that he would try to make something fun for each one. Besides all this, even though Jay confirmed it the other day, Guillaume just further confirms that both Yoda and Maul are indeed getting blocks, as we suspected before. It was said before that those will be arriving in the next game update, but there wasn't any follow up on that here. I am glad the blocks are confirmed though, they will make gameplay with Maul and Yoda that much better. But that is all we have to go over today. It's really nice to see our hero designer active on social media and filling the community in. It sounds like he's focusing a lot on really smoothing out the heroes and making them the best they can be. Hopefully we'll hear something about future heroes soon, but I'm happy with most of what we heard about today. That's going to be it from me though. If you like the coverage, you know what to do with that thumbs up button, and I hope you consider subscribing if you're new. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar. This has been your boy, Turkish Delight, and I'll see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.